I have sound now, so I do hope. And I do hope that you will all be here again. Sorry, I, it does take a little while to fill out all the boxes and make sure we're on slow mode and everything like that. So let's just sit here and wait for a little while. Thank you. Is it crackly? Everything is, I did not touch anything. You know, I just, it's probably to do with, um, with me touching that thing from that. But I don't think that should be, because I can go, you know, Didik is sometimes in, in YouTube as well as me, because when looking at videos, and well, not looking at videos, but in the background. So Ooh. I can see that it's catching the sound now. So I should be okay with the sound. I can see it's catching, uh, hello, 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 yeah. Is it crackling? Oh, this is just weird, isn't it? Sometimes it works really well and sometimes it doesn't. So yeah, sorry about, obviously, sorry about that. Um, yes, we're getting better. Thank you. Thank you everyone for coming back. Oh, it's so nice to see everyone. Right, okay, so I'm just going to not demonstrate it. I'm just going to show you, use those QR codes, okay? We have them on these cards as well. And this is the future, dears. This is the future. Look at this one for this pattern, obviously. And look at this one for this pattern. See? So, yes, that is the story about the QR codes, um, but I am not going to <laughs> demonstrate that again. Now, the thing is, I do want to show you, and I don't know whether I'll be able to, where to, but, I mean, Julie has posted several times in the group where to um go to the description box you see if you're watching on your phone it's really hard to find a tiny down arrow underneath the video which will open up the description box okay um in the description box there are links and those links will take you to the pattern they will take you to our shop so anytime you want to know something about that particular video, you can go to the description box. And in the description box, it tells you links. It gives you a bit of information, but it also tells you links to go to our website, to go to um, our shop but also to you know general to other videos as well general information to go to the blog post to go to the shop all kinds of things like that so um ivy i do i'm sorry but you know i've i um i've had i've done everything i can but i just don't know what i've done now <laughs> everything is the same as it usually is so I'm hoping that it will get better. Um, so, yes, so make sure you go to the description box. Also, also, um, if you if there's something that you can't find, you know, the QR code, the description box, plus there is, you know, just type in, go to YouTube, type in Ophelia Talks. It's not that difficult. You know that's my name. I think, you know, Ophelia Talks. Just go and you will find my channel and there will be all the videos there. There will be a playlist, as I've shown you just a moment ago. There will be a playlist with all the um, Jam Jar Happiness videos. And of course, it keeps it together, you see. And once you're in the playlist, you'll be able to play every one of the videos. But of course, not until I release them. I can see them all, but you can't. <laughs> Because I've been working very hard. And so, yeah, I've been um, 
making sure that all the videos are there for the next coming week so that I don't have to worry about, you know, making sure that they are published on time. Now, um, right, okay, so something else as well. People started asking what size hook, what size blanket are we making? We have discussed all of this in the information video. Certain things do not change. You are not going to be able to make a bed, uh, a, a king size blanket with 15 balls. 15 balls are always, always a single bed size. Yes, we made a uh, play blanket in the last cal, but then I added a cushion to it. So if you put it all together, that would have been a single bed size as well. So, yes, you saw that list of videos, didn't you? <laughs> That's the best tease. But for you, for you, it's good to know that it's all there, ready and waiting. I have worked very hard to get it all ready, all sorted out, um, you know, so it all will happen in time. There's nothing, well, there shouldn't be any problems, not from my side. <laughs> <laughs> only maybe that YouTube starts playing up like it did just now but there we go okay I can't just say oh I'll publish them every, one every day because people would be overwhelmed one every week is perfect okay thank you oh Jeff I'm so happy that you are impressed with me thank you <laughs> we'll have to discuss that closer that impressiveness <laughs> so you know, if you are uh, panicking about certain things, do please, you know, find your card, go to the YouTube channel, find the information video and rewatch it. If I, like I say, very, very often, I say very often, if I was my own fan, like, you know, like you are of me, I would be watching that information video like every week, every day, because that would keep me going until the cal started. I would know it by heart by now, and I would know all the pieces of information. So if you are watching a video like that, make notes, take notes, write down how big she said the blanket was. But to be honest, it doesn't really matter. It does not really matter because everybody's tension is different, okay? Everybody is going to crochet a different sized blanket. Yes, it will be approximate, but it will be, that's why I stated this time, it's going to be a single bed size blanket, okay? I do give you the measurements in the information video, but even so, your blanket will not be the same size. Well, hopefully it will be, but maybe it's not. So, I don't worry so much about size. If it's a single bed size blanket, then okay, that's fair enough. It'll be a single bed size blanket to my tension. I don't get hung up on size. What I do make sure of, and I know this because I choose particular stitches. Those stitches have been chosen with a reason in mind of not running out of yarn. So I give the testers the exact same pack as you've had. We'll have to sort out which is which uh, later on. They get that pack. They get the written instructions and they start. There is no talk about what are you making? How big is it? Well, they know what they're making because they have an idea and they know how big it's going to be because it's going to be a single bed size, right? So they have some sort of an idea. They are, They start to make it. They all have scales sorry i was just seeing if i still had mine on the desk they're not but we have scales and they they weigh their blanket they weigh their leftovers i weigh my blanket i weigh my leftovers to make sure that you have yarn left this blanket does not weigh 1500 grams okay this blanket weighs Yes, Deborah, 15 balls is always going to be for a single bed size. If you are going to make a bigger one, you will need bigger ball, uh, bigger, more balls, <laughs> more balls. Um, this blanket weighs about 900 or 1,000 grams. So there is like four, more than 400 grams 
nearly 500 grams of yarn left over. So you're not going to tell me that you're not going to be able to substitute one color somewhere if you should run out of yarn, okay? So the, what matters most is you enjoy doing it, you sit there, you have your crochet time, you just go ahead and crochet. Do not worry about running out of yarn. This one here, you can substitute any color that you may have more left over. You can even substitute with, you know, whatever you have to hand. If it's just like, you know, a tiny bit at the end, leave that row out. Who cares? Who's going to notice, right? I am not worrying about that. I want you to enjoy your crochet time. I don't want you to get all huffy and puffy and hot and, you know, sweaty because you're trying to find a measurement. Life is too short for that, okay? I want you to get the yarn, look at your scan, scan your QR code and get going. That's what I want you to do and enjoy it, right? Enjoy it. <laughs> stress free, exactly, Eileen. Let me stress. Let me stress over it. I had <sighs> two weeks of stressing. Two weeks of stressing over the colors, over the stitches. What am I going to do? How am I going to do it? Blah, 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 blah. I stressed and I stressed, and then it all fell together in one evening. <laughs> all of a sudden, it all the puzzle fell together, and it just happened. And I started crocheting, and it worked out. I gave the pattern to the testers, and they did it, and it worked out. The only thing, um, yes, okay, I am worried that you might run out of yarn, but we have tested it. My um excuse me, my testers, excuse me, all have different tensions. They all use different hooks because we have done a little test when they, you know, sort of when they joined, we have a little test um, and to see what their uh, gauge is. But I don't change anything to their gauge. I let them choose their normal hook uh, that they normally use. I let them choose, um, you know, obviously their tension. <laughs> they can't help their tension. Uh, so, you know, and it works out for all of us. There's not someone who says, oh, I've run out. So, you know, Radio Luxembourg. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm sorry. Maybe it's my, my 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 throat. My 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 voice is a bit raspy. Hmm. So there we go. So please don't get stressed about what size is my sampler? What size book are you using? What size is the bank blanket? Because it will all work out. You work to your attention in the hook that you want to use, but obviously you're not going to be able to use an aid because then you're going to get a huge blanket. Okay, but you have to know your tension, your hook that you usually use, and take it from there. Okay. Um, yeah, so I was going to, yeah, okay. Right, so then what I also had as a question was. Because I use um, it seems yes, but um, is it meaningless? I'm sure that you know you have some sort of an idea of how a single bed size, how big a single bed size is, because one must have slept in one at some point in their life. Okay, um, and a single bed size blanket is the ideal size for you to sit in the sofa and put it over your legs, over you, over your shoulders, do whatever you want to do with it. Um, if you are trying to, um, if you are trying to make a huge, I, on my bed, I have a huge blanket that my grandma made. It's huge. It's on the bed. I cannot use it anywhere else. Okay, it's a double bed, but if I have it here, it's just far too big. So everybody, everybody does 
generally we do a single bed size blanket. 15 balls is generally for a single bed size blanket. There are of course other more intricate designs and designers out there who do more complicated stuff and then their blanket is a different size or, it, or it's a square or whatever. But the thing is, you know, we have made this kind of blanket before. We've done the Lizzie, we've done um, the O to Anna, we've done the Autumn Walk. It's all the same size. Single bed size is a single bed size. I mean, you know, if you want to make this double bed size, you're going to make two single bed sizes together. So you'll have to have two packs. Okay, 15 balls, single bed size. Okay. Cindy, I know there's something wrong, but it's not something that I can do anything about. All my things are the same as always. So I'm sorry about that. Just keep checking, but everything is the same. Yes, glow hard, I did. Yeah. You can, of course, Kim, of course, yes, you can uh, use a single bed size blanket to put on a double bed. Just put it at the end of the feet or just put it on your side if you're cold. That's what I do. <laughs> him next door doesn't want a blanket on him. So I have a single bed size blanket on my side, on my Elena side. See? Perfect. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm sorry, Veronica. Oh, it's a nuisance, isn't it? That the sound is not very good. Thank you, Theresa. Thank, thank you. And yes, of course, we are playing with the UK US difference. Okay, I understand that a single bed size is it called a twin? Is it a twin in um? Exactly, Ruth. Exactly. Now, the thing thing is, you see, um, you know, there's other people making cows and there's other people doing single bed size blankets. So I thought if I call it single bed size, then, you know, it's for a bed for one person. OK, so a bed for one person, whatever you call it. <laughs> you know. Exactly. Layer two or three across your bed. Fabulous, Alison. That's a way to use them all at the same time. Okay. Um, yeah, the, of course, there's full-size beds. There's queens. There, there's double beds. There's queen. There's king beds. You know, it's... Or just, you know, enjoy the moment. Enjoy the crocheting. And whatever size it is, that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find some use for it. They're the, they're the ideal sizes for throwing on a sofa, throwing over you when you're watching TV, throwing on your side of the bed. Uh, if your other half doesn't like the extra layer, put it on the back of the bed for the feet, you know? So it's a good size blanket and it's yeah, enjoy the enjoy crocheting, enjoy the mum. It's the thing. It's 15 balls are still quite easy to send around the world. If we were going to um, you know, have more balls, bigger packs, that would create, you know, do you know what I mean? Um it's it's that's the way it goes. 15 balls is this kind of size. Uh, I I'm uh, next time I'm not going to mention a size <laughs> and we'll see what happens then. <laughs> Let's see, eh? <laughs> you know, I I everyone crochets different. So yes, indeed Paula, everybody's going to have a different size blanket. So we'll see how it how it goes. If you do run out of yarn, measure how big it is. Can you get away with putting it on your bed like that? Then do it like that, you know? Or skip that colour or whatever. Do another row in another colour. Yes, Christine, I think it should be. I think it should be. So, yes, tension hooks. Hooks as well. So we have a difference between, of course, US, UK. I use US terminology because I got confused, okay? <laughs> when I started crocheting again, I had to learn 
the English words because I learned to crochet in Dutch. And so when I decided to start crocheting again, what do you do? You go to YouTube and you find your little videos and you think, oh, yes. And, you know, just a reminder. I just needed the reminder and just get started again. And of course, I found someone who explained the stitches to me and she used US terminology. And that's why I started using US terminology. OK, I live in the UK, but that's what I thought were the names of these stitches. Little did I know that the UK uses different terminology. So yes, I am a UK based crochet channel. I use US terminology, but on top of that, I use millimeters for my hook sizes. So I use the crochet hooks higher, higher. I have used those since the beginning. That first week when I decided to uh, pick up my hook again, I started with my old hooks from my grandma and, and etc. But then I think that same week I went to a yarn shop and, um, you know, there we go. I started buying these. Now, I have to say the hook itself states that three and a half millimeter, right? But look, Didik pointed this out. Look, it says it on the label there. So if you have these hooks and you have the packets, then you will be able to find out what letter your hook is. OK, but also Mr. Google knows. Right. So you can type it into Google find out there'll be a chart there'll be a way for you to find out okay um the higher higher hooks are my favorite and yes so the um the three and a half is a hook e um and then we have all the others you know but there is also of course this one four and a half and it says hook g h whatever whatever that is right so yes um, it is confusing and I'm a mixture. I'm a mixture. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but hey, makes it all unique, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I just I just go with the flow. I do what feels, you know, what 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 what's there. Hooks, I do me, yeah, exactly. Um there we go, Barbara. Exactly. Yes. Um, you know, US terminology, millimeters for the hooks. That's how it goes. We also have to go to the shops here. So these are the hooks that I can buy here. There we go. Right. See, the thing is, I have no idea. If you say mine measures 52 inches, I have no idea how big that is. No idea. I measure in centimeters. Then I go to Mr. Google and ask him how many uh, inches that is. OK, so, yes, I have learned to give you both measurements, but I don't know what I'm saying when I'm saying inches. I have no idea how big that is. OK, um, so if you just say to me 52 inches. I have no idea. I would have to go and look it up on Mr. Google and I can't because then my thing here will go funny <laughs> you know I don't want to risk anything now anything now ah oh, Miss Google do you that is Miss Google <laughs> oh dear yes of course there are apps there's an app for everything there's an app for everything and also there's a Oh, this is something I was uh, talking to Dirk about earlier as well. If you don't know how to go down to the description box, if you don't know how to scan a QR code, I'm sure there's a video for it as well. OK, there's videos to explain everything to you. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> there he goes. Yeah, Dirk says, I don't need Google. Anya knows everything. Yeah, yeah, right. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I know, Joanne. I know. Isn't it? Or, you know, it's funny, isn't it? How everybody has their different um, 
you know, every country has different ways of measuring of of weights and things like that. So yeah, you do, you know, you just I have scales, they do both. You know? So, you know, you just and then all the rest is converted or whatever. So <laughs> my goodness yeah julie exactly well at least we, you know <laughs> he knows his place <laughs> exactly exactly julie that's you know that's i was trying to think of 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 why all the differences and things like that but exactly that's the exact thing we are an international worldwide community here okay um and yes we have all our special things but i cannot anticipate those i cannot know all these things in advance of how you call things how you you know like for example there was another thing uh, a pram blanket um and in the uk everybody knows what a pram blanket is but then some people were asking me what's a pram blanket you know so that was clearly people from the us who don't use the word pram there we go so you know let's just allow for that push chair exactly that's exact a push chair blanket yeah perambulator so it's a push chair or a stroller for babies you know for little children for pushing them around town a buggy yeah a pram, yeah. So I didn't explain on purpose. So now we get all the questions. See, so yes, let's just let's just accept that we are all different. And when I use a word and you don't know it, ask Miss Google. <laughs> Miss Go Ms. Google. <laughs> ask Google, okay, or ask in the group, right? Uh, but. Do you know what I mean? We all do ourselves. We, I do me. I say the things that I say. And let's just go with it. OK, let's not get hung up about things like that. We are all together in here. We're here to help each other. Let's do that. OK. Okay, <laughs> I was just reading a title of a, my recent YouTube tutorial was this, how to make purple socks for turtles under 10 centimeters in length, the turtle, when you only have cloth and a toothbrush to work with. Fabulous, Wendy. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, we're all different, but we all come together. There we go. Right, okay, so now... Another question that was asked today or yesterday, whenever, was which is which? So people are wondering why I'm using Wendy DK. Why am I not using StarCraft? And okay, I have to, I'll, I'll tell you, right? There is no, you know, there's nothing mysterious going on. Um, Wendy DK is um, owned by James C. Brett. Um, and James C. Brett came to see me. He person, the owner of James C. Brett. James C. Brett is a big company, if you are. So we have StarCraft in the UK. We at Barbara, it's a uh, pushchair, a stroller blanket. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll still be answering that question after you know to, at the end of the uh, at the end of the um, at the end of the live. I'm sure. Uh, so yeah, we so we have a few big names: Starcraft, King Cole. We have Rowan. Is that is that you? Uh, UK? I can't remember. Uh, so we have James C. Brett. They're all um, you know sort of very much uh, established brands in the UK. Their competition, but they're not okay. So that you know that they, they all do different things. They do the same things, but you know, generally, I get the feeling that they're okay. They're all three out there, the biggest ones, and they're fine. So in February, yeah, 
We um no, they're not made in the UK. Nothing is made in the UK anymore, um, Nancy. So in February, we went to this trade yarn fair. So this was, yes, Wendy, obviously it was because of you. Because of you. You are the best name. Wendy is the best name. <laughs> um, so we went to this trade fair. And it was specially for yarn shops. So we were allowed in because, of course, we have a web shop. So we went there. We opened accounts with Starcraft, with King Cole and with James C. Brett. We had, um, you know, of course, Wendy Clark. Yes, of course. Uh, we had conversations with all of them about what I do, how we sell our yarn. And I have to say, Starcraft fine they were fine king cole they were fine but james c brett they were like wow um chris hammond the uh, local rep because he's our rep they were he was just so interested he saw potential so he then got back to james c jamie brett the owner of james c brett the, you know the big boss and he came to see us. The big boss came to see us and he wanted to find out all about what we did because, because he realizes that in these modern times, modern times, a lot of different type of marketing needs to be done. So James C. Brett in, I'm not, I'm not saying anything, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to say anything negative, but they are a little bit behind on their modernization of social media, right? As Starcraft have their blogs and their blog stars and whatever else they're doing. And James C. Brett are sort of trying to modernize on that level. So we started talking. And of course, he then mentioned, I have, you know, Wendy has a range as well. Yes, I'm friends with him. I've got him on, uh, you know, I've got him on Snapchat. No, not Snapchat. WhatsApp. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we got talking. He said, you know, we have a range as well. Why don't you try it out? And remember, he sent me those balls. Remember those 550 balls he sent me? I have to say, I mean, obviously, very, very generous. And I have to say, I started working with them and I was impressed. See, that's those colors that they have, you know. So there we go. So that is the whole range of Wendy Starcraft, uh, Wendy Supreme. And I started using it and I thought, it's nice. It's nice. So when I came to, yes, exactly. Uh, James and Brett, they are a yeah. Sock yarn, right? Okay, fabulous. Yeah, Deborah, just a moment, just a moment. Okay, so, um, I started, I started testing, I started testing, and I started trying it out, and you know, it was really nice. And what I found personally is that the colors seem to have a little bit of a sheen to it. And for me, there was more stitch definition. I don't know, I can't explain, but the stitches looked better formed. I don't know, right? It's hard to explain. You, you, you see it. If you look at your stitches, you'll see it. And so when I came to deciding for the new um, Cal, I thought, hmm, shall I try? Shall I try? And, you know, see if they've got the colours in Starcraft. Because I had this necklace. Where is it? There. I had the necklace. So I thought, let's put it... Uh, what am I saying? In Wendy, of course. <laughs> um, let, me, let me check to see if I can find these colours in Wendy yarn. And I did. And I tried it out. And I liked it. And then I got in contact with Jamie and I said, look, I'm planning on, um, you know, I'm planning on 
doing the next cal in Wendy. Now I have to say, I have to say, part of the reason was because we had a supply issue with the Harlequin cal. Okay, most of you have not noticed this, uh, but we had to wait until like oh, so close to the cal before we could order everything. There was still a colour not in stock. We had sold so many packs already and we couldn't send them out because we had one colour missing. So I was really stressed at that point with the Harlequin cal because there was a colour missing. Now, I, I realise this can happen to any brand, but it stressed me out, okay? So, I just wanted to try it. I just thought, right, I like this yarn, I'm going to go for it. So, I got in touch with Jamie and I said, what do I have to do to make sure that you have all the stock there, that I don't end up with a supply issue, that you have no colour there? He said to me, now, this is the thing, you see, I was able to talk to the to the boss, you know, to the owner of the company. I've never been able to do that with StarCraft. I've never had that link with someone up, up there, right? So being able to WhatsApp this person and ask, you know, and ask, can you make sure I have these colours? He said, yes, I will. We can put those ready for you already. This was in June. OK, I got a picture in June. I can look it up for you in June. No, I can't because I, I think I deleted it. But do you know what I mean? I got a picture showing me he had 240 packs, not packs, but the amount of yarn for 240 packs in his warehouse with my name on it. I hadn't paid for it, I hadn't ordered it, but it was there. I could see it was there. He said, it's there for you. Nobody's going to touch it. It's there for you when you decide when you need it. That alone reduced my stress level by so much, so much, right? So knowing the yarn was there was amazing. And then then a um, few weeks later he mailed me and he said is there anything else we can do for you who who in this world would say that to me right yeah karen does my husband does the moderators do but do you know what i mean do you know and i said to him well um I'm going to have to start ordering the pack soon because we have to pack them. We have to repack them in bags. And he said, would we be able to do that for you? I felt I nearly fell off my chair. I nearly fell off my chair. They packed, they packed 240 packs for us at Wendy, at James C. Brett. That help was unbelievable. OK, we have sold a lot more than that. But to get started in those first two weeks, it was just wonderful. I mean, I thanked everyone. I thanked them multiple times, you know, and whenever we do go and um, visit them, I'll be taking chocolates and all kinds of things. But do you know what I mean? Th knowing that we could buy 240 ready made packs of our yarn from them. No, Dirk cannot do it on, well, um, the, the Harlequin, we, the Dirk and I packed the Harlequin together. We had someone, we had two people come and help us as well, but it was all disjointed. It was just so difficult to get the Harlequin packed because, of course, we packed and we couldn't put the last ball in. So, you know, so doing that, um, that cooperation with James C. Brett is just, was so good for us. Um, and yes, of course, the two, the first packs that we um, sold, 240, um, that was the first few weeks. And now we're ordering, a, you know, 30 or 20 at a time. They arrive here, Dirk packs them and sends them off. And that is OK for Dirk to do. But the large amount of all of you ordering 
at the beginning is just impossible for us to, you know, for us to get it done. So that was one that, you know, having having that was a wonderful thing. Then, then the other thing that really, really, um, yes, I think you need to get Bird to buy you a Wendy pack, Deborah. <laughs> Um, it, of course, having that help was amazing. I didn't know that in the beginning, you know, when I chose the colors, that was amazing. But then also we think of you guys, this pack is cheaper. We can buy the Wendy yarn cheaper than we can buy the Starcraft yarn. And as you have noticed, we have, we, our pack does not cost what a normal 15 ball pack in Starcraft would cost, right? So there is a there is a difference in price. We were really happy that we found out that actually Wendy is cheaper than Starcraft and we can sell it to you cheaper. And well in my in my opinion I can't see the difference. I can't you know, I, I I don't feel the difference. I can't, from a distance, I, I'll bring some closer in a moment. I can't see the difference. I have to say I'm using StarCraft at the moment for a project and it seems to be splitting more. Karen just said that as well than what I had hap splitting at the, you know, at the, at the uh, Jam Jar Happiness. So <laughs> splitting to me is may be a problem with your how you hold tension and hook you know all that combination but even so mm, i don't know i don't know it might be just the balls that i'm using or it might be just the colors whatever but i have not had more or less issues with either yarn okay for me for me they're both okay okay but we were really happy that Certainly in these times where we are all looking out to save some money here and there because we don't know what the winter is going to bring. We have been able to offer you a yarn pack at $27.50. The same yarn pack in decay is now sold or a 15 ball yarn pack of decay is sold at $31.50. That's four pounds difference, four pounds, right? And if you were to buy the same colors from us, from our StarCraft range, because we don't have the pack in StarCraft, you would be paying 32.85, see? So, you know, there's a big difference. There's a big difference. 2750, we were able to send you, or you know, with postage, of course, we were able to sell you, right? The Wendy Supreme, this blanket, this blanket, with maybe even all the other things that we're making as well, will cost you 2750 in pounds, of course. Okay. Beth, it is possible that one color splits more than another. I've had that with StarCraft as well, though. Yeah. So there are so many things that could happen. I, I don't see. I have no idea how yarn is made. So in my head, I can't tell you why it is that certain balls would would split and others don't. Um, James. Jamie himself from JMC Bread, um, he really he he's been to the factory. He's seen where it where it uh, is made, and yeah, I mean he gets on he he gets on with all the kinds of people. He gets on with the boss of the factory where it's made. He goes on holiday with him, you know. So he's one of those people who do believe in personal relationships, and we are really happy that we have this. Um, 
you know, we are really happy that the, we have this relationship that we have established over the past few months. The um, local, the, our regional representative of JMC Brett, Chris, has been to see us uh, the other day and he was like, what can I do to help you? Have you got any questions? These are the new yarns and this is the new yarn and this, oh my goodness. So I've asked him um, for lots of samples. So they're going to send me some samples. So hopefully they will arrive soon. I will open the box together with you. I have ideas. I have plans. I have plans, darlings. Um, the thing is, you see, Dirk and I, we need that help for the cow. We need that packing help. If they can do that again for another cow for us, I mean, you know, it helps us so much. Plus, it's cheaper for you. And to me, the yarn, the quality of the yarn, the amount of splitting, the amount of yarn bath, the amount of knots, the amount of whatever can happen to a ball is the same. It's the same. It's the same. OK, um, it's the same between De uh, between the Starcraft and the Wendy. There are issues with any ball. There are issues with any, any brand, right? So anyway, so let me just take two balls, same colour. I have covered up. <laughs> I have covered up the labels. OK, can you tell me which is which? Oh, thank you, Ivy. Thank you. Yes, this is my uh, this was my new summer dress at some point. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, a handsome. He even still has his own uh, clients, you know, so, yeah. So hang on, let me do it like this. Let me do it like this. So the top one is which one and the lower one, because left or right, I just can't, I can't work with that. <laughs> so which one, top or bottom, which is which? Now, the thing is, there might be a, I don't see even a color um, difference. I think I can spot, I think I can spot a different spin. Can you see a different spin? I think I can spot that. But other than that, for color-wise, color-wise, it's, um, it's the same. I mean, it might be different, obviously, because every, you know, color may. So there are, the colors are the same. You, we don't have to worry about the colors, but I think I can spot a difference in weave. So the top is Wendy and this one is Starcraft. Do we think so? Let me go and check. Top, what did we say? Top is Wendy, bottom Starcraft, yeah? Okay, so I'm going to put this one here. I'm not, I'm not doing anything to it, it's still in there. So this one was the top, and the top one is Starcraft, and the bottom one is Wendy. You know, so there is, it's a guess, it's a guessing game, isn't it? Um, you know, so I just think, yeah, maybe this is spun a little bit differently. This is spun, I can't even say whether I, I like both spun, spuns, you know, if, if that's the only difference, then, you know. I mean, don't look at my the state of my balls because some of them come from <laughs> come from my stash. Um, so you know whether or to me personally, the only difference is price. 
Is it shorter or longer? Oh, yeah. Hang on a minute. There seems to be a, a difference in length. Wait. Yeah, look. <laughs> There's a difference in length in the ball. <laughs> but you know what? That's not going to matter, is it? I mean, it's not going to matter when you're crocheting with it because you're using up the ball. The only thing that, to me, is really annoying is splitting of yarn. Um, what else do I find annoying? You know, knots, factory knots, they are there. That's a thing. You know, you can't not have a ball of yarn ending. So, um, you know, they too have to change bobbins. So I don't get annoyed by knots in it because I just tie them and leave them and cut them out. Um, what else do I get annoyed about? And that's it. And neither split more than the other, I would say. So, yes, for me, of course, being able to... Yeah, Karen, it would be because obviously it's the same colour, but they are, um, you know, different... You have to see it as different baths, you know, different uh, colour baths. So not necessarily... I mean, well, where am I putting it wrong? It doesn't matter whether I'm putting it right or wrong. Um, you know, you you get differences in colour in the same brand. You know, if you have two colour, if you have two proper purples from Starcraft, they can be the same, the, a difference in colour. So, you know, um, but they are very, very similar in colour. I don't think for the colour difference, you have to do it. Um, these, this might be tied a little bit um wound a little bit tighter than this one. This seems to be a tied um, wound. Sorry, I'll use the wrong verb again. Uh, so this is Wendy and it's wound a little bit l less tight, I think, than Starcraft. So this is wound a little bit looser than this one. But again, you know, there, yes, dye lots, uh, obviously they're made in different factories, so there are going to be dye lot differences. Um, but I think you know, for me, once it's made up in the um, once it's made up in the the project that you're using, I don't think anybody would see what it is. So yes, the fact that we can offer it to you cheaper that's a big thing, and of course the help we got as well that was wonderful. We are trying to. Uh, run this all, you know, the two of us, still really difficult for us to expand with somebody helping and etc. So yes, getting that kind of help is wonderful. Now also, um, Dirk did say to me, because of course, after the 240 packs, he's been packing them all, and he feels every ball, because he touches every ball. And he says, uh, he feels that they are a lot more consistent than Starcraft was when we were packing those packs. And I have to say, for one cal, I was like, there was one ball and it always felt so, so loose. So, you know, I think it's, it's I think they're made the same, you know, different factories, yes, but how much difference, you know, they look indistinguishable from from a distance if you were to make the blanket in the actual starcraft i don't think it will look much different right so you know it's let's just say there is a difference but it it's more than likely just to be a slight color dip but then the thing is the colors are called different as well so you know Joni, I've had a b balls from Starcraft where the colours, where some of the thread was so thin um, that I had to cut it out. So, yes, I mean, things happen. And I think it's just in the process of making, you know, the, the, the manufacturing process. Um, like I said, I don't know how exactly how this is made and how things happen. But, you know, we try to, uh, you know... we. What we tried, we tried another brand. You liked it. You all, 
using it and you know i haven't had too many people say oh i really hate this yarn it's it's you know we we could have had the same issues with the starcraft but because it's a different brand same kinds of same kind of colors you know let's just go for it and i found my colors in the wendy and i'm really pleased with that uh yes there are uh, there is a possibility to buy them of course in the starcraft but you are going to pay uh, five pounds thirty-five pence more. So, what do you prefer? You know. There we are. <laughs> that was that story. But I have to say, yeah, yardage is the same. It's all the same. It's all the same, but I do have to say, I might use it again because we can use, we can really use that help that they give us. Um, we can really use the help that they give us uh, for packing those first lots of uh, cal, so we can send out as many as possible in one day. Of course, that first week. Um, Yes, Donna, I would be so interested. Yes, the Sachemeyer, yeah. Aha, okay. Yes. Um, Julie, I think we've got a few more likes, but yes, please do uh, <laughs> press a few more thumbs up. I'm sorry we have problems with the sound. I've had everything set up as before so i do hope that it will you know be better uh, next week <laughs> so i am oh maybe am i too close to my microphone oh my goodness let's put it away then <laughs> um i am going to be publishing the second part of the daisy card i've been wearing it so much so oh my goodness i have to tell you this so i wore it to go shopping in town on whenever it was thursday and i was in the market uh in the um farmer's no the farm shop it's called i always get that wrong i was in the farm shop buying my vegetables i was queuing up and there was this old lady she walked up to me and she said oh she said that's lovely she, sort of hugging the hugging my arm she said oh it's lovely i'm assuming you made that yourself and i said yeah i did and she said do you take orders and i went no nope. <laughs> no <laughs> thinking no thank you i've got enough to make <laughs> so yes if you do not want to make anybody <laughs> anything for crochet you just go no <laughs> she got the message because if you hesitate they will ask they will ask uh, but yes um obviously i find it very hard to make things on order i make things that i like and i share them with you yes kiranjit i should have and then she was off of course there was no time to give me the card to give her the card uh but yes that was that was funny but yes i have had lovely comments i went to town i had four comments i was in town 20 minutes so I was really happy, really pleased. And so I hope that if you make this cardigan as well, you will get this amount of, um, you know, compliments as well. And so then I wore it to go to um, the craft fair on Friday. I went to the craft fair with Karen. And now when we go to the craft fair, of course, I don't need to buy any yarn. Duh. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> we do something else right so this time we did some block stamp stamping so we um we did a workshop and we did look we did some stamping so this is a cotton and you use fabric uh, paint and they have the most wonderful stamps look at this so this was my trial piece karen accused me of being too symmetrical <laughs> 
And this is Karen's trial piece. And then I did some more there because I was unstoppable. <laughs> and then this is Karen's. So then we decorated a tote bag. And this is Karen's bag or a bag, whatever it's called. So she went for it with one stamp and lots of colours. And I really love the effect. And look at how pretty this stamp is. Look. Yeah. And I decorate. This was my bag that I decorated. So I went for all the paisley motifs that they have. Look at that. And then at the back, I did an effect where I did a color effect and stamped the whole, you know, one stamp for the whole full thing. And then the lotus flower there as well. So, yeah, I think Karen did a really good job with all her colors and changing them and then sort of, you know, putting them all on there. Um, I brought them home and I uh, ironed them. So now they're fixed. So if you wash these, the pictures or the stamp, uh, stamped images will still be there. And yeah, then I'll give it back to Karen when I see her next. So if I had them, then I could show them off during the live. So that's why I I suggested I would iron them. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. So we had a lovely time at the craft fair. Uh, we, um, we had a look around for the yarn. And I have to say, I have to say, um, we decided, and I told Derek this as well, we decided that, uh, yeah, there's not that, yeah, there was a couple of yarn shops but the packs that they sell are either non-existent you know they don't have pack or if they do have packs they're still the same packs from years ago so i am more determined to bring out new colored yarn packs so that you so that all you have to do is buy a pack know that those 15 colors go together they will make a single bed size blanket and that you can enjoy yourself, that you can just find a pattern from my channel and that you can enjoy yourself. And that's what my determination is now. There were no packs like that available on that, at that yarn fair. Um, at one point when my mum and I were always looking for packs, we I was buying them. And at one point I came home and I said to my mum, we've got them all. We've got them all. So there's no point in in buying you know in in buying doubles and that's when i decided to you know when we started the web shop that's when we decided to do those packs so there's sandra saying please don't do that anya my husband will not be happy well sandra that's his problem <laughs> I am going to make sure there are more and more packs. And because we are selling the 100 balls, we will always have all the packs available because Dira can make them up. So, uh, yes, there will be a pack for that uh, 70s blanket. Um, you know, what was the last one that I brought? Oh, yes, then the Jam Jar Happiness, of course. Do you know what I mean? So, yes, I want to make sure you can buy from us in packs blanket in a bag blanket in a bag project in a bag you know it arrives there's a qr code or you go to the channel and you find something that you can do keep it simple keep it stress-free and keep it enjoyable enjoyable okay that's what i want to do mm. christy yes Karen and I met um, when we were doing the stamping up uh, workshops for making cards. So, yes, we are used to stamping. Although, of course, this one is a little bit different because it's block stamps. It's wooden stamps. They're lovely, though, those stamps. I've built up. Don't tell Dirk. I've built up a little bit of a collection. You see, uh, So when I'm not crocheting, I allow myself. Sometimes I allow myself a couple of hours just to do some stamping. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I'm planning on doing. So I um, buy, Zoe, I buy um, cotton bags, cotton drawstring bags, little ones, bigger ones. And whenever I give a gift now, I put it in a little cotton bag so that the recipients can reuse those. But also I, um, you know, 
stamp on them before I give it to them. So they have a lovely bag uh, that they can, you know. Oh, yes, Fiona. We, of course, I've got Starcraft. Yeah, it's still there. We still sell the 100 balls. Um, the 70s blanket is Starcraft. No, no, no. It's all. It's still all there. Yes, we've got Starcraft. We've got Wendy. We are not going to change that. Although, although, okay, Wendy only has 51 colors. Right, Starcraft has a hundred colors, so I am being <clears throat> very cheeky, and I'm trying to butter up Jamie to try and you know bring out some more colors. So who knows? Who knows what I can achieve? Maybe I can get him to choose, or maybe, maybe I can direct him to see which colors we would like to add to this fifty-one range. You see. See, so yes, we are. Will be Dirk will be putting on a pack as well of fifty-one balls here. Okay, so you know we have the one hundred ball pack of Starcraft Special DK. So Dirk wants to put on the uh, fifty-one uh, pack as well, so that you can buy one of each of the colors of um yeah exactly yeah blues see you know i'm going to see what what we need um and and or what we want and maybe you know but of course i have to you know bring it up in conversation and things like that you know it won't no like Derek says it won't be tomorrow obviously uh but you know maybe in the future maybe in the future i can influence maybe you know maybe you know it would all work out really well for us because if we can do this then it's it's not just for me i'm doing this it's for all of you okay it's for all of you <laughs> uh barbara and cakes what do you mean by cakes yes of course um there are we've got those cheney cakes from jmc bread yeah i mean the thing is you see we are limited in storage space at the moment so yes we will bring out more yarns um but you know we need to have the space to, to stock them so slowly i will bring out more yarns i will bring out more patterns with those yarns but everything is staying for now if we do remove a yarn from our collection i will i will obviously let you know yes yes no no the cardigan is starcraft the cardigan is starcraft um, because Bridget used Starcraft as well. Okay. Right, everyone, I'm going to say goodbye because I feel like we've been talking for a long time tonight. <laughs> and yeah, um, I think I've said everything. I hope I have anyway. Um, yes, denim. That's the denim color because obviously um, I have a long list. <laughs> but Wednesday, we are going to do the assembly of the cardigan. Friday, there will be week two of the cal. And yes, of course, I have given the cal week's names as well. So don't get confused in the table. I'm sure you can work out what is what. And also remember, you can watch the YouTube videos more than once. Watching the videos is free. Okay, absolutely free. You can watch them again and again and again. You can watch them multiple times. You do not have to pay. Okay. If you've missed some information, look it up by watching it again. Okay. It, I'm sure it's there. See, Harriet, there you go. I don't know what medium size for yarn is. Can you look it up? And can you find out to see what size it is compared to the UK? Okay. So, bye everyone. I will see you Friday. Yes, the videos always come out at the same times. Wednesday at 6 GMT um, or BST at the moment still. Uh, Friday at 6 BST. So, always the same time that I publish my videos. Okay? So, you know, same thing. So, 
always the same, Wednesday and Friday, 6 p.m. BST. Okay, see you later. Bye. Yes, Friday is the second week of the Cal. Where is my mouse? <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, Josh. <laughs> Bye.